What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how some narcissists will pretend to like the same things that you like just to get you to fall for them, just to get into ensnare you in a relationship, then switch it up on you. Stay tuned for more, like, and subscribe. So I'm having a great time getting to know you. Like, what do you, what do you do for a living? I'm having a great time getting to know you too, and I, I'm I'm a librarian. Oh, uh, a librarian? I I, I love library. I love the fact that you do that for a living. Yeah, I love a good book. I'm part of a book club and everything. All my friends are part of my book club too. That's that's great. I can't, I can't wait. Happy one year anniversary. I can't wait till we move in together tomorrow. You break your lease? Yep, lease is broken, keys are turned in, I'm ready for tomorrow, I can't wait. Okay, great, so here's my new boundaries right here. Um, I hate the fact that you're a librarian and I hate the book club. What, what? I thought you, I thought you loved, what, huh? Yeah, do, those are my boundaries right there, look. You, you have to respect my boundaries, like it's an easy list. But you told me you loved that about me, why, why are you trying to change right now? I loved you, not what you did, I don't know, why did you think that? It just feels like you're trying to control me, they don't, those don't feel like boundaries. Oh, those are my boundaries, quit or be homeless. What? So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. Before we hop into today's episode, I got a shout out. I love me, the self love brand. This is the I'm thriving shirt right here. Um, available link is in the description of every single video. And I do so self love brand. I love me. Um, but yeah, 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 y'all, y'all see the little skit right there. I know a lot of people in my video were taking a look in a lot of people in the comment section was like, oh, that sounds like what Jonah Hill did, how narcissistic people try to change the stuff that you do later on. They pretend that they're okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that Jonah Hill is a narcissist. I, 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 when I made my video about Jonah Hill and his boundaries, people were just like, I don't know. People were in my comment section like, oh, he's a celebrity. He can do that. Like, Y'all gotta stop forgiving celebrities and give, making a whole new set of rules because people have celebrity status. Like, oh yeah, he can change it up if he wants to. He can, he can replace you. Yeah, exactly. That's how people control you. I don't, you know, a lot of narcissistic people will pretend to, I know I said librarian in the original video, but th that's just an example. It could be very, it could be more, way deeper than that. You could be like a surf instructor. They try to take that away from you. You could be a, you know, you a model, an actor. You could be, you know, something part of a run club, part of something that they 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 will pretend that they enjoy whatever you do. The same things that they like in the beginning about you will be the same things that they try to change later on. The same exact things they'll try to they'll try to switch it up on you later on once they have you ensnared. You know, I think it's called coercive control. It's just like once they have you ensnared, they try to switch it up on you. They try to make it seem like. This is about like people conflate boundaries with rules like boundaries are to protect yourself and whatnot. Boundaries are not to be enforced on other people. These are boundaries are for you. It's boundaries are building a fence around your life and only letting certain people in that don't violate said boundaries. Boundaries are not telling people, oh, hey, you have to quit that job right there. You have to quit what you do right there. Because a lot of narcissistic people will pretend like you work in a club, you're a bartender or something like that. They love they met you at the bar, right? All of a sudden. When y'all get together, y'all fall in love, they set it up to the point where you have to either quit that job or you lose them. And you might be so in love, you just like, I don't want to give up my job, but I love you. Well, those are my boundaries. That's not, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not a boundary. But I see, but I, I get why people, I know I, I understand how people conflate it. And so many people just look at the simplistic view of it. Because a lot of narcissistic people do this, y'all. They, we, this is what we do. We pretend to like the same things you like. You know? And then we pull the rug off from under you. You you flip. You're like, oh, I never met somebody who likes this weird, obscure thing that I like to do. It's amazing to meet somebody who likes, you know, cutting grass and concentric circles. I never met somebody like this. But then you get into a relationship with them. And you fall for them. All of a sudden, they hate concentric circles. They like doing squares. You said it's it just little stuff like that, y'all. But it, it's it's little stuff. I'm having a hard time kind of coming up with a good example. But anyway. Like you're a police officer. Let's say you work in a, as a, you're a police officer. They love the fact that you're a police officer. You, you protect and serve. You're a firefighter. You put out fires. You're a doctor. You're a lawyer. Whatever it is that you do. When y'all get started having kids or family dynamic or you start planning the future together, all of a sudden, the stuff that you do, the stuff that you like to do, becomes an issue. The stuff that you 
enjoy doing becomes a big issue. You see what I'm saying? And that's that's all I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to put into people's head. Like, it's the fact that you were already doing it before you met this person, and they tried to take it away from you later on. That's the issue. That's what a lot of narcissistic people will do. Yeah, I'm just telling you, they will act like they have the exact same interest as you. I've had this happen in my real life. With a, um, um, there was a lady. Um, uh, that I knew used to know as a real estate agent. She's quirky. She's super quirky, right? She met this guy. I just, I, yeah, I get weird energy vibes from people. I did not like this dude. I was like, this dude has some weird energy. But of course, you don't know him like I do. He's, I'm like, yeah, nobody acts like you, you know. Then she pulled the rug, like she literally pulled the rug off from under. He like fell in love with her. He pulled the rug off from under her feet. Like I don't really like the fact that you're a real estate agent. You had to quit that. You can come work for me in my company. You can work for my painting company. What? Didn't like the fact that she was a real estate agent, but that's what he met her. I'm just telling you, people do this all the time. People do this all the time. Like if you, if this has happened to you in a relationship dynamic with a narcissistic person, put it in the comment section. What did that person pretend to like about you? But then later on, resented you for, hated you for, told you you need to stop doing that, or you relate, you know, threaten the relationship or threaten you. Sometimes they'll, sometimes they'll threaten you, yo. Don't just threaten a relationship. Sometimes they'll absolutely threaten you to do something to you, to do some kind of harm to you, to put, you know, to, to do something like they will literally do some type of damage to you, you know? mentally, physically, emotionally, to your life, career wise, financially. You know, it, it, they'll t- t- threaten to take something away from you. That's why I tell people all the time. You have to. Imp- <coughs> Goodness gracious. You have to empower yourself in these situations right here. And like you have to have your boundaries like if this person, you know, has a problem with what you do for a living, but they didn't at first, you see what I'm saying? That person, can you trust that person with other stuff? Because if you give in to one thing, they'll start asking for more. If you give a narcissistic person an inch, they'll take a yard. They'll take a, you know, they'll take a, I was going to say yard. <laughs> they'll take a foot. Didn't I take a, you give them a foot, they'll take a yard. You give them a yard, they'll take a, a kilometer. <laughs> they'll do things like that, y'all. That's why I tell people, you have to be very wary. Like what you give in, you know, you, should, you shouldn't have to negotiate with your, your your likes and dislikes later on in a relationship. This should be established up front. You have to establish this up front. Do you have a problem with what I do? Because I'm not going to start. I'm not going to stop doing this if we fall in love with each other. So please don't do that. But some of some of them will even lie to you then, y'all. Some of them will lie to you right then and there. They'll just like, oh, I don't have a problem with it. But then again, when they ensnare you, they'll settle. It, they won't just upright admit that they have a problem with it. They'll do it subtly. The covert narcissistic person won't be super loud and ab- aggressive with doing this or, you know, exposing that they don't, they don't like what you do. They'll do it in a very subtle, manipulative way. You see what I'm saying? They do this all the time. It's the mindset and whatnot, y'all. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Of course, like and subscribe for more. And as always, let the hymn is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. You are a mental healness rock star and I appreciate you for being here. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the screen to subscribe to the channel and watch another one of my videos in my playlist. There's also a link available up here for you to purchase my kids book. Remember, it's not your fault on Amazon. So check that out. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.